gotta get. You know, oh, yeah, you got the camera. I'm not gonna dap you with the camera. There we go. Right. Hey, 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 Ron. Cool. Hey, hey, Ron. Hey, hey, man. Nice hat. Hey, is that filming? Champions. They, they cool. won everything. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, football is my life! No, football is my life! <laughs>
pushing back in. All right, guys, so I got the arms all welded up here. As you can see from the stand, and this is all breakable. This all breaks apart. And this slides into here. So this just slides out. This arm slides off of that, so that slides out. This slides in there, that slides out. And these legs both slide out. So it's packable and just a, 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 you know, whatever, a flight case or a small bag. This would be your widest part. But we're gonna test fit it now. We're gonna stick the TV on there and we're gonna see what happens. Yeah. Cross your fingers. So it's sitting there. I mean, it's definitely bowing this arm. I mean, this is quarter inch box tube, or not quarter inch, eighth inch. Um, and this arm here is bending. That arm's bending there. I mean, we could possibly sleeve that with um, the heavier stuff, maybe weld on a heavier piece over top of that. The problem is it doesn't really slot very good if we had to grind out the weld seam, which I knew we'd probably have to do. But that this is bending down. Uh, maybe, maybe if we bolted it, you can see here, you can see it's definitely pulling that up there. I don't think it's going to break or anything like that, but it's definitely. That's what it would look like from the front. Actually, actually looks like it's twisting a little bit like that side there is going bending down. It's just a lot of weight. It's probably a hundred pounds. Monitor. You want it to be transparent where it just looks like it's hovering, which that's what it does. Know where we're twisting. I mean, it could be twisting in the in the box. Yeah. It's just a lot of weight. Looks cool, but then this twisting down that kind of sucks. I don't know how we can get away from that though. Under here, this was all going to be covered with sheet metal. Cross this, I'll screw that down. That gets cut flush because he doesn't need the first, it's like a headphone jack. And that will hide that whole entire power supply. So basically all you would see from the front when somebody's standing there, you wouldn't even see that rod. You just see this would be all black. It's a cool idea. I just don't know. We might have to go with something more solid, solid steel or something. But man, that really adds the weight. The whole thing was to make this thing easily set up and portable. Uh, let me guys, let me know what you guys think. If you have any other ideas, it's kind of cool. Oh, I made a part. You didn't even get it. Get me on camera, but no. 
lathe work, but we haven't done made any it. lathe work. I made a spacer. He did. It was his first part he ever made on the lathe, and he did a really good job. He got it the right length, right width, right bore. Sweet. Now that, that little thing go all the way through. Oh, you might have to, yeah. might have to put that. that. Yeah, put that back in and just run the drill bit through it. So we right made now. some changes to our stand here that we're working on. Some of the changes are I sleeved the outside. So this is all inch and a half tubing. This is inch and a quarter and it's all eighth inch wall. And I did it inch and a quarter up through here yesterday and I did just a piece that slid onto there. But it just had too much, too much flex in it. Here we go. Too much flex. So what I did is I left the inch and a quarter inside and then sleeved it with this inch and a half and then I for this guy I decided that this would have a lot more surface area holding on this instead of just out here um, when you just slid the little piece on so this is a lot more stable as you can see I welded nuts on it with set screws I might go back and cut these off and uh, put little T handles on them then um, we shortened this guy up the distance between here um, it's now seven and a half inches instead of, I think it was 10, nine or 10. So we're in a little bit further. And then we also, we originally had it out here, just so you can see how much we took off. That might even be three inches. So it was originally out here and it slid in, but we're, what we're getting here is this was actually starting to bend that way. So what I did is we made this guy here with the brace out to the center so that most of the support here. So this should hopefully not dip. Now we haven't tested it yet. I still gotta do... We're about to. Yeah, we're about to do the set screws for those. So right now it looks like we're getting some, we have a little bit of flex, not nowhere near what we had yesterday. Um, and those feet, I don't know if it's those feet flexing. Oh yeah, I did a gusset too. A quarter inch plate gusset there get in there I got us on the tripod to take it off. Yeah so quarter inch uh, plate gusset that way so that our, we won't get any flex this way from this piece here. So what was happening is this whole thing was kind of rolling forward because we were able to out here we're able to push down here and it was like wow this is really solid but then when we pushed it this way it was like it wasn't so we figured we tried gusset there that was the first thing I did today and then I finished the sleeve and of course all this stuff has a weld seam in it so to, to get it to fit we had to get in there with the die grinder and a file and grind it out. And this guy originally only had about that much in but now we're all the way into here so I'm feeling way more confident about this. Oh, we'll get that in. <laughs> this guy's getting a little funny. See, he's not supposed to go that way. Well anyways, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect anything right now but it slides out and it goes like this. Which is nice because it's aesthetically pleasing. And I'll weld a little plate over top of that so that it's closed. But the nice thing is, when we were putting it together earlier, I was like, wait, which one's this? Oh, these are the feet because of the taper that I put on it. But, so this all comes apart. So you got one piece, two piece, your center piece, that's three. And you got your four, your base, and your two legs, five, six. So I think I counted that right, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Breakable down, portable stand for a DJ so he can put his uh, monitor up here is 42 inch monitor. Now this thing weighs like at least 100 pounds. It's a touch screen. It is heavy. It's an ELO monitor which is the same one that I used for that which is an industrial grade. So they're excellent. They are not consumer grade at all. They are built beefy. But uh, hopefully this will work. So we're going to go test and put it up. Still got some shake. See there. Still got a little bit of gap here. So what we'll do here is this is supposed to sit flush. I don't have the bolts in here. And this is supposed to sit in here, the valley here. So what we'll do is I'll weld in pins that go up so it won't slide down as far as it is right now. 
so it'll actually stick out a little bit further. But this is it. I don't know. Just can't zoom out any further. Oh my god, that's pretty freaking awesome. That is killer. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. I mean, it bounces a little bit, but that is killer. Stand in there, Dan. So the whole idea is when it's dark, this will get a piece of sheet metal over it. This is all going to get powder coated black. So when he's standing there, it just looks like he's standing there and this monitor is just hovering in the open. So these will all be black. You won't see this on the black stage. He might even put his case under it, I think he was saying. So, but this is all modular, so those can come out. So if we decide we want to do a different style leg, because he was saying about the, the flight case that he's going to use for this, he'll might use that like a like a trailer hitch, like he'll slide into that and pen it or something. So we could take those legs out and, and do something else. And honestly, I think that's our weakest link right now is this this flexing right here. I mean, I'm sure we still get a little flex up there, but. I mean, short of making it out of a quarter inch wall, which honestly would be ridiculous to take anywhere in the load. You can definitely see it's pulling that down a little bit. Right across here. It's pulling it down a little bit, but it's a lot better than what it was. And we just need to fix that. There, I'll put pins in. It'll be golden. I like it. Well guys, that's about all we got for you today. I know I didn't show any of that. I was busy trying to get it. I just have a ton of work going on here. And Dan is awesome. And uh, yeah, just a bunch of work we're trying to get done and try and correlate with other customers. I have a couple big jobs. I got a roof rack I got to make. Uh, a big roof rack, like a 12 foot. Correlate instead of coordinate? Yes, coordinate, sorry. My grammar's not so good. Um, I speak the word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyways. Uh, that I have another ATM box to make like I did last year um, There's the sheet metal for that. It's all aluminum. I just got the approval go ahead today Even though I ordered the material so I can get a better price on it all uh, when I put all this in um, So it's going to be busy and I got some things w uh, with other customers that are running that I got to get done that um, You know that we've been prototyping and it just takes time prototyping. So that's about all we got for you guys Dan? Sign or suckers. <laughs> Till next time. So bring your A game. Cause you know this party won't stop. We could never run out of time sipping strawberry lime.